Hey Simmers, I'm back with my speed build video for this week. This time it's a tiny house. It's not really a tiny resident as what we described in the things. I tried to start with that as you can see, but decided to move on. I was lacking a little inspiration, so I messaged one of my friends and said, pick a color. Uh, they said, well, they said cherry red, but because you can't, it's kind of, you get your choices of colors as you see. So I decided, I went, okay, I'll try to use red, and I'm using it as the accent color throughout this build. A good portion of what I cut out was something I don't think you guys needed to see, which was uh, me doing playtesting with the sim in that to make sure everything works. I decided to do this cool pattern over the patio. Uh, you'll see me turning all the wood to a lighter brown. Uh, how I and I found I really liked how it turned out. I was trying to get the to match as much as possible. Uh, the reason why I decided not to use the tiny home is because when I came up to this, so I had the border all the way around, those would count as tiling, which would take me over 100. Uh, I decided to use, uh, you'll see a bunch of eco-living style stuff. Uh, uh, this isn't going to be as elaborate as the build tour that you'll be seeing on Monday. Um, sorry for all the spinning around. It's, I sped the video up to times eight. It's uh, one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. Um, so I started by... I wanted to use these couches and chairs, but I decided not to in the end. So here's where I'm deciding the kitchen. I'm like, okay, if I use red, I'm like, no, let's use white. Uh, there is laundry in this room. As you can see, I'm using uh, kitchens, uh, uh, appliances that have hints of red. And then you have like the red washing machine and all that. I decided to use a little bit of a different style for the sink. Oh, here, here's me actually playtesting. I forgot to cut this part out. <laughs> here's why I wanted to make sure the uh, sink and the fridge worked with it being put like that. Uh, I bring the sim back eventually and do some more playtesting. Trying to figure out the layout of the room. I wanted to make sure I had somewhere to sit to eat, somewhere to sit, form of entertainment. Here's where I start kind of going through different ideas. <laughs> Uh, the final layout I kind of liked. Uh, I decided to use this, like as you can see, wanting to use the red. I decided that came worked out perfectly using the counters like that and that wall. And here's where I'm going to start going through different couches, trying to think about what I want and windows. I decided to use the, uh, these those longer windows because I kind of like the way they looked. trying to come up with ideas. I decided to put a red apple clock in the thing. When I saw that there was a red fan, I'm like, ooh. Then I decided to use the, the stand here. And this is where I kind of decided to start changing the furniture and kind of looked at different ideas. So I figured I'd try to uh, blend the rooms together so you'd have the red accent colors and have uh, uh, white and black furniture. I st I'm trying to find furniture that has matching, that match, like has a love seat and a chair, just so you'd have the seating. Uh, here's where I start placing, uh, again, here's me with my plants and all that. So I try not to over overuse the red, like it was supposed to be the accent color. Hence why the paintings have a bit of red and a few other colors and all that. And here's where I start de deciding the walls. I was going to do something uh, a bit different. I start with this one set from the uh, Moschino stuff and then I decide to go with the other one and then just carry the white walls that I used around. To give the, to make it pop, I use the red mahogany floor. 
I just like to plant a whole, put a whole bunch of strawberries. I cut out the part of my sim planting them, and all the time I wait it so they grow up a bit. Uh, trying to come up with curtain ideas. Originally I was going to use those, and then when I put the window back, I didn't necessarily like it, so I decided to go with these curtains. Uh, eventually I turned them black. The bowl from Equal Living because it's black with red highlights in it. Again, this is me trying to get it so you can see the more of the accent colors than anything else. Try, trying to find the salt shakers. This took a bit to salt and pepper shakers. I decided to use again. It's black and red. So I decided to carry the these windows around to the bedroom. I love that we can now uh, put uh, the windows over top of each other because that makes it so you can make these really nice looking windows. Going through beds, trying to find ones that I liked. I start with maybe going with red, then I try black, and then I eventually settle on a white bed and try a different few, few different ones. Push it bit in the wall. I have play tested everything in this place works, so you can sleep in the bed even once I put the end tables in. I try to find end tables that have matched, but again, I decided just to use the red as the accent color. I thought this was one of my most brilliant ideas. They kind of just have that bar of lights across the top of the bed. Uh, from Vintage Glamour, I picked uh, that painting just because it does have that red in it. Again, just trying to keep that whole idea of wanting red to be the accent color with all these black and uh, white objects. Didn't think of anything else to put there. Uh, I decided to use an accent wall again and just carry the same walls throughout the place. I uh, decided a white uh, carpet eventually. Felt that corner looked a little lonely, so eventually I think I used an item from Nifty Knitting. Yeah, it's one of the hanging plants. Decided the bed needed two, two little bears on each side of the bed. I figure it's a couple that lives here. They're badly in love, and I think I pick out the rose item, stick it on each of the end tables, and like that. Uh, the bath again, trying to keep the th theme going with red being the accent color throughout the uh, build, uh, making sure I have all the bins in that I need. Uh, the bathroom, I picked a lot of black. Uh, eventually, I do add in a temperature thing, because while my sim was there, they were overheating. So there is a thermo uh, thermostat in the building. I thought about using a different sink than normal, then, then just decided, just, nah. And here's where I'm using the red again as the accent to the color to the rest of the build. I use the same flooring and wall that I used in the other part of the house. And with it, how it turned out in the end, once we start seeing the tour of the. Uh, I do believe this is once my sims here, because you can see the strawberry plants have grown. Um, when you <laughs> when you see the walk to the walk through uh, part of it, um, you'll see that uh, that uh, that is like the sand from the beaches, so it leaves footprints. I picked some roses. I didn't put any dirt underneath those, unfortunately. Here, here's my sim kind of. Just waiting for the plants. I should have cut this part out, but it's okay. Here's me doing some more landscaping, more trees. 
and now we're into the tour of it, the building. Again, like I said, it's a tiny home. I love how the, the woods look, as you can see the footprints. I think that adds a little bit to it as walk. I don't know why that one part did not color, but I'm not worrying about that. So we come into the house. As you see, red is the accent. I think the floor helps make the rest of the red around the apart around the house pop out. I like the fan. The bathroom I think turned out so nice. Minimalistic, so you kind of could say it ha does have that modern feel to it. I go through the house just so I can turn so you can see that accent wall. And into the bedroom. So until Monday and the very ambitious build, it's not a huge large lot, it's just I've started to play around with uh, putting stuff into other things, kind of building stuff out. So until Monday, leave a like, leave a comment, and susu! -soo.